I can make do with worn out harness, but you spent a dollar fifty extra just for some class and thread. The storekeeper saved it specially for me. Oh, yeah, sure. He's very nice. He knows how to make his fortune from us. Especially for my sister, who thinks our money grows on trees. Spend good money on all that embroidery foolishness. For what use? We can't eat it. We can't wear it. I enjoy it, Johann. It keeps me busy. We are busy enough at work on the ranch. I think I do my share of that. All right. Shoe Hilda. Do I say you don't work? Just that to me, money is money. It's hard to come. It cost me enough for all these supplies. <laughs> Now, it is right we will never get home. Hold it. Take it easy. Yo. Give me your money. Yo. Stay still, Hilda. than that, friend. Since I've been gone, well, a pretty little girl with a red dress on. Who's been here since I've been gone? Well, a pretty little girl with a red dress on. Who's been here since I've been gone? Well, a pretty little girl with a red dress on. Who's been here since I've been gone? Well, a pretty little girl with a red dress on. Poor Howard's dead and gone. Poor Howard's dead and gone. Oh, who's been here since I've been gone? Well, a great big man with a black hat on. Who's been here since I've been gone? Great big man with a black hat on. Poor Howard's dead and gone. Poor Howard's dead and gone. Poor Howard's dead and gone. Let me hear to sing this song. Oh, Adam, glad you dropped by. I got that complaint off, made out against that Howard Mead. The Bruners has already signed. Now, you just put your John Henry down here. Hey, talk to him anyway. Why, sure. Might shut him up. Poor Howard didn't gone. Poor Howard didn't gone. Poor Howard didn't gone. Let me hear to sing this song. Poor Howard did and gone. Oh, how it's dead and gone. Oh, how it's dead and gone.
You're in serious trouble, you know. Why doesn't that worry you? I don't have a worry, I don't have a care. Going back to Frisco, lady love me there, lady love me there. Mm -hmm. I can see it doesn't worry you enough to stop singing. You take a bird. Does he sing because he's got no worries? He sings because he has to, that's all. You know, I've been standing outside there, listening to some pretty good music, and trying to figure out the fellow doing the singing. You know, you, uh... You know, you handle a guitar a lot better than you do a gun. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? You know, I don't know how to say this, but I want to thank you for stopping me. I've done a lot of things in my time that I'm not proud of. But not that one. That's pretty good. Yeah, I have. Uh, I pick up a few things here and there. <clears throat> hey, I do too. Yeah, I know other people's money. I'm gonna tell you something, Madam Cartwright. And I don't give a hoot whether you believe it or not. That's the first time I ever tried a stunt like that with a gun. Broke, and hungry. I was in town, I looked in that store window, and there's that big German sod buster and his woman, and he had a fistful of money to choke a horse. The name is Bruner. Johan and his sister Hilda. They're good people, and they work hard for their money. I'll take your word for it. There's stuff about being hungry. That's true. Nobody ever believes a guitar-picking drifter. <laughs> Adam, I got some things to do. I'd like to get you to sign this complaint. Roy, I'd uh, like to talk to the Brunus first. What do you want to waste your time with this guy for? How do you know I'm wasting my time? Besides, it improves the atmosphere around here. That? I just don't understand this Yahoo and his singing at all. Don't try, just listen. So that's his story. Well, I'm not saying that what he did wasn't a crime, but I think if a man makes one slip, he deserves a second chance. I'm not the person to put another soul in prison. I will withdraw the complaint. Well, I do not withdraw. He pointed the gun in my face to take my money. I get the satisfaction of putting where he belongs. Ah, Johan. A whole barrel of flour, grain seat, march for the peaks. Ten, twenty-five dollars worth I lost because of that robber. Oh, well, I didn't think it was that much. But, uh, let's say it was fifteen. I'll pay for the damages out of my own pocket if you drop the charges. And the satisfaction of putting a man in prison isn't worth uh, fifteen dollars, is it, John? Huh? Smile as you go by, but it's smile as you go by, cause I. Ain't got time to hear no grown man cry. My pappy was a poor man, all he ever had was fun. And all he had to give me was the earth, the sky, and sun. But the greatest thing he told me was, boy, don't weep or moan, cause the man is always crying now, will always cry alone. You just smile as you go by, but it's smile as you go by, cause I ain't got time. Who's the second hand? It's a new fella Adam brought in. Well, he's not a hand yet. Any word from Sacramento? No. Nope. <laughs> Can't understand it. Can't sit here twiddling our thumbs while those millstones are lost in some Sacramento warehouse. I want to go on down there and take a look. Yeah, let's do that tomorrow morning. What about Howard Mead out there? Well, I can tell you one thing about him. He can sure sing. <laughs> you know, maybe pretty good at singing, but as a hand. I don't know. That fellow worries me some. Why, just because he got hungry and broke? A lot of men have had that problem at one time or another. Yeah, but they haven't tried to solve that problem with a gun. That's what you said yourself, that uh, everybody's entitled to at least one mistake. Well, I'll tell you this, Paul. He can punch cows like he can sing. We got ourselves a gym. 
Well, let's talk to him. Smile as you go by, but as smile as you go by, cause I ain't got time to hear no grown man cry. Ain't got time to hear no grown man cry. Ah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's a pretty song. Yeah, uh, fellas, you got some chores to do? Yeah, now I gotta get back to work. <laughs> Howard, this is my father. How are you, sir? This is my brother's horse, Joe. Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Howard, how are you? Howard, me. Howard, I uh, understand you uh, like to do some work for us. I certainly would appreciate it, sir. Anything would be fine. Well, a couple of things that uh, should be cleared up first. Uh, about the money that Adam put up for me, sir, I plan on paying that back first wages I make. Well, good, but uh, I was really thinking about our, our neighbors and friends, the Bruners. I've been aiming to go over and tell them how sorry I am about what happened. In fact, I'll head over there right now. Yeah, well, I'll take you over there tonight. <clears throat> after we've done a little uh, picking and singing first, huh? My pappy was a poor man. All he ever had was fun. And all he had to give me was the earth, the sky, and sun. But the greatest thing he told me was, boy, don't weep or moan. Cause the man who's always crying now will always cry alone. You just smile as you go by, boy. Smile as you go by. Cause I ain't got time to hear no grown man cry. Smile as you go by, boy. Smile as you go by. Cause I ain't got time to hear no and you just smile as you go by, but as smile as you go by. This does. Show sure now. It's Adam Cartwright. Hello, Hilda. Go on. Hello. I think you know who this is. Of course, she knows who he is. The man who tried to rob us. I, I'm here to tell you both how sorry I am about that. I never tried anything like that before. I, I know that's no excuse. I'd sure like to make it up to you if I could. Johan, please invite our company to sit. Company? Please, Johan. Sit. Adam tells us that you are a musician, Mr. Mead. I pick at a guitar now and then. Yeah, sometimes I think he would rather pick at that thing than eat. We have not got time for such foolishness. Once she even had some crazy idea to run off to study music in a school. <laughs> and that's what her hands do on here. I told her we have not the time to go around to sing and socialize. Is this the piano? No, it's harpsichords. It's very old. My father brought it from Germany. It's pretty. Do you play it? I used to. Would you play for me? Perhaps, sometime. Why not now, Hilda? I haven't heard you play for a long time. Johan? Look, I can't just keep patching that mill now. Is Joe going to Sacramento or not? Yes, he is, as soon as I get this letter of authorization written. 
Hey, Adam, can you take me in Virginia City in a buckboard? Sure, anything to get rid of you. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Hey, Joe. <laughs> Did I give you that extra cash to take along? No? Huh. Hey, Paul! Howard Mead's going, Paul, and along with him, one of our best mares. He took a rifle out of the bunkhouse. They say I'll never settle They say I was born wild But they don't know my burden I'm my mama's hard luck child My mama's hard luck child I've been all over this land From Texas up to Maine And everywhere I've rambled Good people curse my name Good people curse my name come to bring me in? Why? That horse ain't that valuable. Sorry you chased all this way for nothing. Because it's hello and goodbye. Don't try anything. Go ahead, use it. You stole the money. You took the mare. God, use the gun you stole that, too. What kind of a man are you, Howard? Maybe I was born wrong, or bent wrong. I never had a mother either, Cartwright. Only I never had a pa. A pa. All I remember about him was this, he was real tall. He used to sing a lot in jail. He died in jail. What's use talking about it? Nobody's listening anyway. I'm listening.
You know, sometimes I, I feel like I'm never going to be satisfied anywhere, but in jail or on the run. Howard, you got too much going for you. Just give us a chance to help, huh? It's charity. It's not charity. I never did cotton. Oh, charity. come on, Howard. Don't you sing something? You sing a lot better than you talk. Well, every road I see leads away from me. There's not a single one that leads me home. All the roads keep saying, friend, come and see what's round the bend. So is it any wonder that I roam? All the places I have been keep on calling me back again. How down in the pines I hear the cold wind blow. My heart keeps telling me, foot loose and fancy free. And the road goes by and calls me as it goes Well, maybe somewhere there's a someone Waiting there with a smile And maybe there'll be some place I can stop and rest a while Cause maybe you weren't meant to be Just a rolling stone And there's a road to travel on Lead you back to home. Oh, but I'll keep a traveling on, keep a looking at the dawn, till I can lay this lonesome body down. And when that day has come, I never more will roam, and every road I see will lead me home. Come, I never more will roam, and every road I see will lead me home. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, I know he's had a hard life, but what's going to make him change his ways now? Well, I think he's learned something. I think he's learned that people care about him. Is that going to make him change his ways? Well, I'll say this. I'll take the responsibility for him. Deal? All uh right. -huh. Just don't forget that old Indian saying. Fool me once, a curse on you. Fool me twice, a curse on me. Can what? Well, you can punch cattle dang near as good as you can sing. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I gotta get cleaned up and get on into town. I'm seeing Hilda tonight. Maybe I'll even take her to the dance. Good, I'll see you then. Hey, just remember, she's my girl! Come on. Early one morning, just as the sun was rising, I heard a mansion singing the valley below. Oh, don't deceive me. Oh, never leave me. How could you use a poor mansion so? Remember the vows that you made to your Mary. Remember the bower where you vowed to be true. Oh, don't deceive me. Oh, never leave me. How could you use a poor mansion so? That's mighty pretty. Play another? No. Now you play one. And we listen. And after that, I make some coffee.
If you have a fire, what do you do with the lamp? Kerosene costs money. Johan's right. I like it better with the light down low anyway. Traveling on, keep a looking at the dawn till I can lay this lonesome body down. And when that day has come, oh, I never more will roam, and every road I see. You always sing such lonely songs. Oh, do I? Tell you what. Let's go to town. You know, there's big dunes in Virginia City tonight, and you and me might do a little dancing. No, I, I don't think I should. I really don't dance very well, and I don't have a dress to wear. Well, what do you call what you have on, an Indian blanket? Come on, let's give it a whirl. The answer is no. I'm not asking you to the dance, Brunner. I'm asking your sister. You don't hear so good. She told you no. Now you can get out of this house. Johan! I won't have you talk like that. What do you think he is after with all his sing and his smart talk? You? My Molly, that's what he's after. Why else would he spend so much of his time going for a plain little nothing? Mr. Mead, I like very much to go to the dance. I get my rap. Hilda, I didn't mean what I said. I do not want you to go out with this man. He's not good for you. Why? Because he's kind to me? Because he appreciates me? Hilda, what about me? You are leaving me all alone. Johan, I love you very much, but you are my brother. Back. How was your trip? Uh, long and dusty. <laughs> I found the lost order. Yeah, uh, Pa told me. Uh, to tell you the truth, I didn't expect it back so soon. Don't they have any uh, pretty girls down there? Yeah, they had some pretty girls, but look, there was something I wanted to tell you. Yeah, something I want to tell you. There's a dance here. I told Pa we'd be home after it's over. The dance can wait. Come on, I'll buy you beer. A couple of beers, Murray. No, well, come on out with it. Well? Down in Sacramento, I found out your friend Howard Mead is wanted by the law in California. Well, we knew that, didn't we? Some trouble he got in. Now, the trouble's murder. I don't believe it. Well, you better start believing it. Well, Maine's as good with a gun as he is with a guitar. Shot and killed a saloon keeper. That's not his first killing either. He's wanted for the murder of another man in Kentucky and a string of robberies all the way across the country. It's a good thing I see your horses outside. I want to tell you about your song singing friends. What about them?
This is what about. He robbed me when my back was turned. Then he must pretend to court my sister. Forty-six five-dollar gold pieces. Now I've got to see right where I want him. Yolan. If it's true, I think I'd go to the sheriff. So he can let him go like the last time? No! No, sheriff! I handled this my way now! Where do you think he's gone? Probably to the town hall. Howard took Hilda to the dance. Look, get the sheriff. I'll meet you there. Right. getting your guitar and playing some songs for us folks while we rest a bit. Yeah! I don't have a worry, I don't have a care. Going down to Frisco, all my friends are there. All my friends are there. You listen to our thief. He should be put in chair where he belongs. Hilda, wait outside. Johan. You want to be here with this man who took all our money? You are crazy. Johan! Get out! You want to sing song? Time I'm arresting you for murder. Sing something cheerful. I don't have a worry, I don't have a care. Going to a hang and all my friends are there. That's cheerful.
I keep thinking of her sitting in that dark house. What thoughts she must be thinking. Hating Howard and hating me. You? And if it wasn't for me, Johan would still be alive. Where are you going? See Howard. I'm taking your guitar. Yeah, well, he's gonna die. Man should have some comfort. It's the only thing that ever meant anything to him. I guess Hilda was right. I always sing the lonely ones. Have you seen her? No. Do me a favor, Adam. Ask her to forgive me. You know, no matter what other lies I told, I really did care for her. How much of the rest was lies? They were all lies, I guess. Well, I've stolen, I've killed. Lying didn't seem to make much difference. Strongest of oak is the gallows. Tightest of knots is the noose. Why, oh, why did I kill that man? Now I'll never get loose. Now I'll never get loose. Boy, you're looking to die. I've rode o'er hot, dry deserts And over mountains tall I believed in the badlands saying A good gun never falls A good gun never falls Well, Adam, listen to me Yeah, I hear the words I tell if you can help it, don't you cross the law You'll spend your days in Well, you'll finish your life in yeah. Go away Hilda, it's Adam. I want to talk to you Howard sent a message to you. He asked you to forgive him. Was that all? No, he uh, said that no matter what other lies he may have told you, that he really did care for you. There's no hope for him, is there? Not anymore. Adam, I love him. Hilda, the man threw his life away. Now, don't you go and throw yours away, too, huh? Thank you for bringing the message.
go over to see Hilda Bruner today? Yeah. Well, something funny just happened. I passed her on the road just now, and she stopped me and asked me to tell you to please forgive her. What do you suppose she meant by that? Can't you just get yourself killed? I don't care. I want to be with you. Well, I don't want to. You just be in the way. Nobody goes with me. Hold it, I mean. You make a fine big target, Adam. I could have put the rest of these in your back. Why didn't you? Who sang my songs? When poor Howard's dead and gone. Will be left to sing his songs. These are the final papers to the sale of your ranch. Reckon the bank told you that they'd transfer the money to your address in Germany? Yes. Thank you, Sheriff. Auf Wiedersehen. Well, the stage will be ready to leave in a minute. Adam? Yeah? I still can't understand it. To be able to sing like that with so much feeling and sorrow for the people. And their sorrows. And yet to be what he was. Why? I don't know. A hundred reasons, probably. You just have to forget him. Is that why he lived? To be forgotten? Father. <laughs> 
Since I've been gone, well, a pretty little girl with a red dress on. Who's been here since I've been gone? Well, a pretty little girl with a red dress on. Who's been here since I've been gone? Well, a pretty little girl with a red dress on. Who's been here since I've been gone? Well, a pretty little girl with a red dress on. Poor Howard's dead and gone. Poor Howard's dead and gone. Oh, who's been here since I've been gone? Well, a great big man with a black hat on. But now, it's just very few people never get home. Hold it. Take it easy. Yo. Give me your money. Yo. Stay still, Hilda. Break the guitar. Now you got a lot more to worry about than that, friend. can make do with worn-out harness, but you spent a dollar fifty extra just for some class and thread. The storekeeper says it especially for me. Oh, yeah, sure, he's very nice. He knows how to make his fortune from us, especially for my sister, who thinks our money grows on trees. Spend good money on all that embroidery foolishness. For what use? We can't eat it. We can't wear it. I enjoy it, Johann. It keeps me busy. They are busy enough at work on the ranch. I think I do my share of that. All right. Shoe, Hilda. Did I say you don't work? Just that to me, money is money. It's hard to come. Cost me enough for all these supplies. <laughs>